protection from a power cut can potentially be a really massive benefit from a battery. In this video, I'm going to show you how it really works. So what is backup power and how does it work? Backup power basically means that if the power cuts from the grid, you've got a battery there that can provide energy to your home or business until that power from the grid returns. Sounds really simple, but there's a lot more intricacies to it than that, and often it's not done correctly. Not all backup is created equal, not all batteries and not all inverters will do the same thing. So first and foremost, this video is going to help you and by the end of it you'll know where to start, but you really need to go and speak to an experienced consultant who's prepared to take a lot of time to sit down with you, go through your load and design the backup portion of your solar and battery system correctly. What I would say first of all is that there's two main types of backup. There's full home backup and then there's essential circuits. Essential circuits means you'd identify things like lights, power points, and a few other bits that you can do as your essential load. So if the power fails, you've got those essential circuits backed up. Full home backup means everything in your circuit board is backed up. Depending on which of those you choose, obviously you'd have to manage that backup in the event of a power cut. If you had full home backup, you'd wanna be careful not to just leave everything turned on. If you had things like big air conditioning units and pull pumps, it'd probably drain the battery pretty quickly. And you've also got the potential there for the things to trip which is a real nuisance if you're in the middle of a blackout. So they're the two main types. The design matters because not only do you need to make sure you've got enough energy stored in the battery, you need to make sure that you can release that energy and discharge it at the right amount. So that comes down to the inverter size. And if that's undersized for what you need, again, you're gonna run into problems with things tripping. So if you only have a five kilowatt inverter, for example, you'd have to be very careful what you ran to make sure that it worked for you properly during a blackout. If you had a bigger inverter, you can do a lot more and be a lot more flexible with how much stuff you can use at once. So your load profile is really important. It's important that when you do sit down with a consultant, you go through which appliances are important to you that you really want to work during a backup, uh, during a blackout, sorry, and then that they build up some kind of load profile to design that part of the system properly. So you need to have a think about exactly what you want to work if the power cuts and for how long you want that to work for. Remembering that not all batteries will charge the next day if the power doesn't return from the grid. So if the weather's bad, you won't get solar charge, but also some batteries just aren't equipped to charge until the grid power returns. So you might only get one discharge of your battery and then that's it until the power comes back. So again, these aren't all created equally. There's a lot of things obviously there to consider and we have made a much longer video that's about 20 minutes long that I'm gonna put a link to in the description to this video that's gonna go into all this stuff and more in a lot more detail. But this one's just designed to give you a little bit of info to get you started. So hopefully it's been helpful. And if you do wanna know more, click on the link to that longer video. Thanks for watching.